government is determined to implement uh, a wide-ranging structural and fiscal reforms to restore fiscal and debt sustainability to and support growth. The Finance Minister, Ken Oforietta, speaking at the launch of the Debt Exchange Program, said the objective of the program is to alleviate the debt burden in a most transparent, efficient and expedited manner. Principal haircut on eligible bonds as we promise. Let me repeat this fact as plainly as I can. In this debt exchange, individuals holding domestic bonds will not lose, are not affected um, by the value of the investment will be retained. So let us remove any doubt and discard any speculation that the government is about to cut your retirement savings or the notional value of your investment. This is not the case. As already announced, Treasury bills are completely exempted and all holders will be paid the full value of the investment on maturity. There will be no haircut on the principle of bonds. Individuals who hold bonds would also not be affected at all. Our domestic debt operation involves an exchange for new Ghana bonds with a coupon that steps up to 10% as soon as 2025, with zero interest in 2023, and a first interest payment in 2024, and longer average maturity for the bonds. Joining us via Zoom is economist Daniel Enim. Good afternoon to you, Mr. Enim. Are all these strategies by government to help get favor from the IMF? Good afternoon. Uh, yes, as part of our negotiation with the IMF, there's the need for us to come out with the debt sustainability program uh, to show how government is going to manage the current debt stock and also ensure its sustainability. So it is, it is part of the program submitted by the Ministry of Finance to the IMF. And I'm sure the IMF might have given it. Yeah. Yes, and that's the reason which the minister is pursuing it as, as part of, of, a, of a new policy or as part of a, a new wave for reviving the economy in that particular space. Now, Mr. Eni, with all the measures in place, who are those who will be affected? Yeah, I think the minister has clearly stated right. that uh, individuals holding the bill, treasury bill will not be affected. Uh, individual holding the bonds will not be affected. But of course, it will affect institutional bond holders. So for instance, uh, trade unions who might have invested their uh, provident funds or tier three in some of these uh, fund management institutions in the bonds uh, could be affected. Financial institutions like the banks, principally, they normally invest their excess liquidity in bonds. Mm. They will largely be affected. And if it is not well managed, what I can foresee is uh, another banking or financial crisis in a looming up. So it ought to be managed right. very well so that we don't resort to what happened, not, uh, not to repeat what happened during right. the, the banking uh, crisis that we, we had. Right. Right. And, and should, should we panic, those of us saving at the bank? Should we panic? Uh, panic will not be too good, uh, mm. considering the health of the economy. What I would advise is that um, it, the government is clear with what he uh, it, it tends to do. So uh, as an individual person investing in treasury, you will not be affected. You can still go ahead and invest in treasury, but no panic about it. Individual holding bond, you shouldn't panic. Uh, it will affect you. Uh, but what, as a citizen, what we should uh, be mindful of is that uh, the banks may not have excess liquidity for onward lending to businesses. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the reason why the finance ministry is trying to find out how the regulators can assist in, in that particular process. So in terms of panic, right. as an individual, I don't think there's so much panic. I only worry, and panic mm -hmm. has to do with, if it is not well managed, mm -hmm. it could affect the financial sector which will not be too good for the overall performance of the economy. Right. Thank you very much indeed. Daniel Lenim is an economist.